police in Temple have a suspect in custody in last night's double homicide at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Channel 6 News reporter Chris Rogers joins us now from the scene with more on another crime this suspect is also linked to. Chris. Well, Doug and Leslie, as you can see behind me, this scene is still an active one at this hour. As investigators tell us, the bodies of the two men found killed inside this O'Reilly Auto Parts store are still inside. Tonight, there are still questions surrounding this brutal crime, but we do now know police have the man that they believe to be responsible in custody. As of just a short while ago, 47-year-old Theodore Sims has been booked into the Bell County Jail. So far, he has been charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. It is unclear as of right now if more charges will be added to that. Now police tell us Sims was brought into custody just before 2.30 this afternoon without incident in Harker Heights. Here's what we know so far. Just after 11.30 last night, police responded to a welfare check at O'Reilly's here on Dodge and Loop. When they arrived, they found the bodies of two men inside. That sparked a 15-hour long manhunt that eventually led to the arrest of the man they now believe is responsible. Police tell us this started simply as a welfare check, and this scene came as a complete and utter shock. No, that's not. It was just a welfare check. So not, not shots fired. That's not the call that we responded to. That's not the scene that we anticipated um, walking up on. So. Sims is also a suspect in an aggravated assault at a Napa Auto Parts store in Belton earlier yesterday afternoon. So far, it is unclear what the connection is between those two incidents and what Sims' connection is to those two auto parts stores. Now, reports online that Sims was a former employee at one or both of those auto parts stores have so far been unconfirmed by us here at Channel 6, but that is something we'll continue to dig into as this investigation moves forward, and I'm sure those will de are details that will come out as this investigation continues into its later stages. For now, reporting live in Temple, I'm Chris Rogers, Channel 6 News. Doug, Leslie, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Chris.